Hi, this is Andrew here. I'm just doing doing a screencast um, to show off my Linux Mint 14 Cinnamon desktop, which I've installed on my Dell XPS 13. <coughs> here's, here is the details for it here. Um, so it's a 64-bit. It is Linux. It is called. Linux Mint 14 and um, and Cinnamon is the desktop environment which is you know how it looks pretty much and um, this is just on a partition on my hard drive um, which is I gave it 20 gig and a bit is being used for various things I've installed I guess so so available is is a lot less than it should be because I've installed you know various programs and whatever yeah well it goes fast I guess doesn't it anyway here's um sort of resources it shows you things that are running same as a monitor does in Windows and and Mac too I guess probably I I, I don't know I think there might there has to be some sort of Mac thing too surely I don't know probably anyway it shows you how much CPU is being used and memory which is RAM and swap which is um swap is a partition in Linux which um you, you have to have for something. I don't know why, you just have to. And this is this thing here shows me how much CPU and, and RAM I'm using now. This is called is called Docky which is is this is called Docky which is 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 a dock for Linux that, that you can download. Um similar to the Mac dock, it can um, move if you like, same as the Mac one, um, but I prefer to have it just as um, staying still. And um, here is Chromium, which is a free and open source version of Chrome. Chrome came from Chromium though, of course, Chrome came from Chromium. Um, Firefox works. And um, Cheese is a webcam software. So the Dell XPS has a built in webcam. Um, this is the effect. I chose um, sepia or sepia, however you say it. So, similar to the Mac sort of photo booth software, you can choose various effects and make videos or take photographs and etc. This is the notifications, which says that I am recording with audio. I hope so. <laughs> and um, these are, are the. This is a list of recent files. As you see, I looked at um, a My Neighbor Tortoro, which is it, which is a background picture here from 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 the Studio Ghibli movie My Neighbor Tortoro. And I'm 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 showing you a few things. Just quickly because this is, is, is getting pretty big. So if I do this, I can see it in the expose view, similar similar to in the Mac OS. And if I do this, I have a bunch of virtual virtual desktops similar to the Mac OS too. And I, I can move stuff sort of between desktops too, which is fun. And allows you to keep things nice and organize and go between them if you are one if you are a sort of neat freak if you pick, pick this up though and put it in the bin it's closed you know and you can close that if you want and close this it's closed you can go over there so it's all very nice and here's a software the software manager where you get a lot of free and paid software but a great deal of it's free so don't worry and it's all good and it's all it is all very, very functional. Here is a featured, such as VLC, which is a video player, which it, it, which is available for Mac and Windows too, and Firefox and GIMP, which is GIMP is like a free, an open source version of Photoshop. You know, it's quite, quite useful. Skype, obviously, so you can have video, video calls. Audacity for sound. Um, you know, so so you can go and make and and change sound files. 
Thunderbird as um, an email client and Deluge, Deluge which is a BitTorrent client. I prefer to use um, Transmission because it's quite fast and, and it is available for Mac and Windows too. And similar to Mac you have the terminal because some things you can't do yet in Linux and not use a terminal. Unlike, unlike Mac which um, a great deal of software has been developed for Mac so you don't need terminal so much. And here is Steam which is, is a free free platform for video games. Which is which is free for Mac and Windows, and allows you to go and buy, and go and buy games and install them onto your onto your computer for Mac and Windows. And some games are free as well. Here's free to play ones. And um, this this came out of the Steam box, which is being made by Valve, which will be a console for home to plug into your TV. Anyway, that's all. Thank you for listening. Hope you found it interesting. Tell me if you want some more details. Bye-bye.